So today I've got a few more items from online dropshipping provider artisound.com which are useful bits for sound rigging. So a couple of these items are to do with, um, with that you might use for a car rig for example. So the first up is this which is a mag mount aerial adapter. So what we've got is we've got SMA mounts on both ends and this is in a magnetic capsule so you could put it onto the roof of a car say because as we know cars act as Faraday cages so you it's very difficult to get a radio mic signal for example out of a car and into a follow vehicle so that's one use for a mag mount. I've actually been using this uh, for a few days on a short film as my comms so what I do is I plug my comms transmitter into this. I've got a uh, I've got G2s which have got an SMA mod so I can use this to get my comms aerials away from my radio my receivers just to help a bit with reception at both ends and it's been working really well um, the magnet is quite strong on it I think it would be okay on the roof of a car I probably wouldn't use it on the roof of a car that was going to go down the M25 at 70 80 miles an hour but certainly if if you know if you were on a um, if you're on a low loader I think it would be fine um, what I've been doing is just using snot tape to stick it to a clamp and clamping it onto the back of my trolley and that works fine for me. Um, I don't know how strong the magnet is compared to more expensive models. Um, it's strong but it's not super strong. Um, like I say I've been using snot tape because this is not very metally. But yeah um, as a sort of cheap solution it's pretty good. I've not had any problems with um, the robustness of the cable yet so I'm going to keep using that and I'll report back. Um, on a similar note, um, so sometimes what we do with the car rig is put, put microphones into the visors of the car say and for that sort of purpose we have this sort of bendy gooseneck lav mic stand thing. Um, you can get wire rigs from Ursa which are um, small stiff wire that you can stick to um, a, a visor or uh, to a steering wheel and it's basically a stiff bit of wire that you wrap the mic around. This is much bigger um, so it'd be harder to hide. Um, it does have some benefits over the wire rig which is I, I have, have worked in a car once that was extremely high polished finish and um, nothing would stick to the visor so I can definitely see some benefits of having a clip. I'd, I'd also potentially use this just as a desk mic because it, it's a little bit funky looking but because it's quite small I think it'd be fairly inobtrusive if you needed a desk mic although of course the whole thing about a lav and its lower sensitivity is you need it to be pretty close to the person who's talking if it's going to be useful. In operation um, COS11 got this sort of foam head um, so the mic slides in, there's, there's no, there doesn't seem to be any way to tighten up these um, bands so if you want the mic to not pull out you're going to have to wrap it around the gooseneck and it does have cable guides but confusingly they, they're not clips, you can't actually clip the cable in, they're functionally useless. Oh, I suppose I suppose you could put some uh, some gardening wire through the holes in the cable guides and then tie it on, but then you end up with something that looks quite ugly. So if I was going to use it as a table mic, that would not be my first choice. So yeah, it's 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 an odd thing. I I think I would use it, and there's definitely some positives to it. The the the, the gooseneck's very strong. It will stay in position, um, but it's extremely big and bulky for what it is, and um, there's some odd design choices like the cable clips being not cable clips. Would I use it? Yeah, probably. Um, I think I would use it for a plant mic. I'm not. I haven't used it in anger yet, but I'm going to stick it in my rigging bag, and um, when I hide this somewhere, I will take some pictures and report back. So that's a COS11 in there, and um, for a slightly bigger mic, um, I have one of them sort of more modern ME2s with the grill that doesn't seem to come off, which has never been used. I'm just going to see if that fits.
It does, but it's quite a uh, struggle to get it all the way to the front of the foam. I think it's stuck. Okay, so it, it would definitely fit um, the old, the ME2s that uh, have the smooth capsule, but with the one with the grill that doesn't come off is a bit fiddly. I, I wouldn't use it for a really small mic. I wouldn't use it for a DPA. I think it would just fall out, if I'm being completely honest. Okay, so that was the car riggy type stuff. We have a couple of other general rigging. Um, this came in the post and I, I don't fully understand it. It seems to be a periscope for a microphone. Essentially what you've got is um, a, a thread on one end which is like the same size as boom pole microphone type threads. And again, but this time a socket on the other end so you can use it as, as an extension if you need to move a microphone but the thing is if you're doing a plant mic and you've got your mic on it some um, i'm just d delving into my box of bits here if you have your mic on its normal mount that's fully positionable at any angle you like this um sound periscope attachment is has has a sort of squeeze to unlock and then it, it, it does a U, or it does a periscope. I, I don't know what to say about this. I, I, I don't, I functionally, I don't understand what this is for, and I cannot imagine how I would use it. Sorry. On a similar note, we have, this, this is the last rigging piece. Um, we have a shoe adapter. Um, and it's unlike the sound periscope, it is fully positionable, so that's cool. It's quite plasticky, but once it's done up, it feels strong. It, it's a uh, camera lighting sized thread on the end. I, I was thinking this might be quite good for um, cam like if, if you again, if you put in a transmitter that's your um, IEM or camera feed or whatever, and you get these plates that you can attach a, a shoe mount onto. Um, it, I'm not going to take it apart because they're quite fiddly to put that together but you can take it off with a screwdriver and then put this one on and then you've got a positionable mount that you can put your comms transmitter on. I think that is a potentially use for it. The one issue with that is it has this sort of knob, for want of a better word, on the bottom of the hard plastic and I can't figure out why that's there. Um, so my first thought was to stick this onto a clamp, but I can't actually screw it into the clamp because the hard plastic gets in the way. I, I could attach it to something like this, which has got a round profile, it would then screw, but yeah, I just, yeah. I'm slightly perplexed by my rigging bits today. So um, I hope that is useful, um, but yeah, sound periscope, weird knob, I don't know. Okay, so I'm basically a massive idiot. The, the cable guides do work. Just because the plastic was new, they were kind of stuck together, but I pulled on them a bit and they're now fine. And hooray, it's not functionally useless anymore.